Okay, so let's do a journey today. Um, let's, uh, let's go with the intention of asking um, the angels to help support and heal those that are um, those that are down right now, and especially those that are experiencing some type of disappointment. So I see, I see some blue wings and they're in the shape of a, that's weird. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to say cyclone specifically. Um, I saw like a, a wave to a voice says go into the cyclone. Okay. So I'm heading through this tunnel, which it does feel like the tunnel of a wave. Um, that a surfer would surf through, right? So I'm like going through this tunnel. And something is, I feel like I'm being cleansed in some way. There's this bird uh, that flies straight towards me. It's blue. It's coming down like it's a um, a hawk, and it actually flies right to, and it grabs my heart. <laughs> it grabs my heart out of my chest, and it's lifting me up now. Actually, it's it's kind of grabbed onto my heart, and it's lifting. It lifted me up through this tunnel that I was in. And it's carrying me up to the stars. And there's some sort of peace. Now that I'm in space, there's some, I feel, I feel like I can relax. I'm in space. Something about this feels really relaxing. Something about it feels safe. Something about being in the, 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 the darkness of space actually feels like I can let my body relax in a way where it can expand. I let my I let my body like stretch. It stretches off into all different directions. It's as if the it's as if in this spaciousness my body's almost like a formless, almost like water, and it it, it stretches off and it fills up the outer space as natural as if you put water into an open space, it would fill the space. I'm taking a breath. Something, something said you're coming out of your shell. I feel guided to just, just to feel this for a little bit, not rush anything.
There's some healing going on this within me. I can't explain why this feels healing, but it feels like I can expand. I, um, something about being up here in outer space, it feels like I can relax. It feels like I can naturally expand. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm tempted just to stay in this because for some reason this feels really healing to me and I just want to be in this. And um, I'm noticing an energy starting in my, my body above my heart chakra. Feels more of like a, like a, I feel more focused on my physical body right now. I'm not in space. I'm more back in my body, but it feels like there's an energy that's happening in um, my upper chest area. I imagine it to be uh, yellow, something between yellow and gold. It's, ooh. I was looking at it and it looked like this spiral, uh, not a spiral, but it looked like a whole bunch of these points and in a big spiral, And when I was looking at it, something said, it dawned on me that this was actually a, some sort of galaxy. And I feel like I'm being, being um, shown somehow that this is somehow inside of myself, this galaxy, star system or something. And something is um, definitely feeling very emotional about this process. I'm still focused on my uh, my chest and um, whatever is occurring up up in up in my upper chest area. This this energy it feels like it has some sort of density to it, and it's still this spiraling galaxy or something. There's a bird in the background and it's kind of like a symbolic bird. Um, this is an orange bird with its arms or wings outstretched and it's saying, it said something about taking this in or something. Or, or do you dare to take this in? 
you dare to take this in as as yourself and i'm like how i'm asking like how like this doesn't how can I take this in as myself, this? This feels like too much, like this doesn't feel like, like this is a huge thing. This is like a galaxy or something like what I'm, and I'm like being asked to, to take it in as if it's, something that's like me like that i'm this galaxy and i can feel this level of expansion in myself and this this yeah it just seems like this bird is saying that somehow it's giving it to me to say that i I can identify with this expansive energy and uh, here I am, honestly, I'm thinking, well, I, I don't, um, I don't understand. I mean, it feels, it, it feels like such an ego type of thing, like what? <laughs> this is a um, okay so this is an energy experience so let's 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 take it in here let's see what happens right because um this is an this is a a journey this is an energy experience so let's take it in So I say, okay, let me, let me feel this out. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm trying to breathe this energy more into what feels like myself. does feel like I'm I'm being asked to take in something which is much much on a scale bigger than myself it feels like I'm a I'm a you know I'm a I'm an earth spirit or human human spirit and I'm being asked to take in this energy that feels much bigger it feels much much more full of love and confidence than who I am. And it's asking me to expand to this. Which is bringing up insecurities and fears in myself. Something is saying that um, I have made myself small in a in an energy sort of way. Um, small in relation to deserving.
some how I've made myself small in relation to feeling like I deserve. I deserve to feel some of what this feeling is, feeling that I have this it feels like a uh, golden warm energy and somehow I have made myself energetically something that's small and not deserving. Something of this bird is saying, keep going. <clears throat> saying you're doing great. <laughs> Now I feel like this bird is, it's the spirit of this bird, this cosmic bird is, it's turned into this triangular sort of focus and it's trying to penetrate into my chest. That's what it feels like. And then, and then something humorous said, like, I'm not trying to hurt you. You know, it's not like I'm trying to uh, penetrate like I'm hurting you. So, <laughs> so, okay, right. So that's it, right. What I guess to describe it better is it feels more like the pressure, this energy, the spirit is um, more, of, more of a focus. It's more of a focused on <sighs> entering me, I guess. Focus, not. I asked myself, okay, how can I, how can I let this energy in more? This is, I feel like I'm almost fighting it now. It's like my chest has become a, um, a wall and it's fighting against some energy that's trying to help me. And now I'm daring myself to be brave in this moment to feel this, to let this in. Part of myself had this desire to just say, can I relax in this moment without having to be pressured further? Something actually felt um, empowering that I did say that for myself. And Potentially, that almost did sh potentially. I'm now looking at. It's like I'm looking at my body. I'm looking down into my body, and it's almost like the energy that was this bird and this trying to get into my chest is now um, a bunch of these little birds faces very low in my body like looking up like there's a bunch of like <laughs> there's a bunch of like these little <laughs> mini birds these mini orange birds um 
almost like their heads are peeking out, all lined up looking at me as if they were peeking up from lower or through the ground or something and looking at me. It feels like I shifted into a type of position of leadership in a way, because now I feel like I'm a bird and there's little birds looking up at me. So the birds are asking, where can we go with this? You're a what where would you they're they're looking up like like kids in a way like where are you going to like positive though like they're like excited and they're like okay well where where should we go now <laughs> where should we go now um Where should we go now? Hmm. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure where we're going yet. Like I I've been following I've been um asking for support and bringing in this message and uh now it shifted me into a type of energy of leading and uh yeah i don't know yet <laughs> um I think I'm going to take a, a pause and just sit with what I'm experiencing. I'm just pausing in this in this moment. I'm asking, I'm like, I, I'm, how am I ready to lead? I'm asking this out, like, I, I, just a moment ago, I was feeling small, and now it feels like some energy has entered me a little bit, but <laughs> I don't know where to take this. And um, I guess a reminder is coming in here saying, well, you are kind of guiding a lot of this. To, so just to remind you, you are, you are guiding this journey and being guided, but... I see this image and this I see this image of this plane and it's it, it's like uh, upside down it's in this orange sort of 
goo and it's sort of like halfway sunk and there's uh, sort of people like falling into it. It's like a crashed plane that's inverted sticking out from this orange uh, gooey substance and it's like there's people like falling out of it like they're there's been an accident, there's distress. And then there's like a media thing, it's like saying, these people, are you just going to sit there and not do anything and watch these people that are in distress and need your help, are you just going to sit there Shit. I feel like I'm being challenged because it's this is this and this bird spirit is just telling me like you already know what to do. You can you can do this. You're just you're doubting yourself. And there's something of the energy of courage. So even in this this type of journey, it's taking it it Okay, so I'm going to this takes me courage just to even do this. I'm going to separate the orange goo and I'm going to spin the plane around and I'm going to put it in my my hand and i'm going to draw back any of the 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 spirits that were depicted in this to draw back into the plane and um whatever whatever vibration they were in that was in suffering to to come back to be whole to be in this plane I'm going to brush aside all that stuff that was there, the whole, everything around it. I'm going to take this plane and um, feels like I actually want to put it in my heart. So I'm going to take this plane and I'm going to put it in my heart and it's going to be sitting down on a runway and it's going to be anchored in me and um, I'm going to stand in this reality where this where I am this plane and it is on a runway and it's safe and um, And it lives in a world where it's safe and somehow I'm going to be be this being that um, maintains my vibration in order to maintain the vibration of the people on this plane. And uh, I, I brush aside this, the energy that's around me that's, that feels discordant. I'm just, I'm just going to brush this aside. I'm clearing this out and um, expanding myself here in this reality. And I'm... 
I'm brushing that aside and letting the bubble of my reality expand here. And the reality that was crowding me out is dissipating. And uh, I'm being asked to even just say that, to dissipate it, to say, I am, that this, that is clearing and it is clear. I'm experiencing a little bit of uh, resistance to that idea, um, but I'm going to say I am in the vibration of, so I'm in this plane. I'm not sure where the, the, the recording stopped, but um, Um, there was this plane in this orange goo and there's people in trouble and uh, somehow I was guided to, t to step in here and bring this plane into a different reality into my heart and to bring it safely onto a runway and then I've been guided by this angel to wants me to go to each person on the plane and tell each person that they are worthy of love. And so I've, <laughs> I've sort of reluctantly um been stepping to do this that i'm being guided to do and i first i the first there was a little girl and i kneeled down to this girl at the front of the plane and uh i told her that you are worthy of love and she gave me a hug and now i've been going over to this person sitting next to her which is like a 20 you know like maybe 30s male who's somehow the caretaker of this child and he's looking out the window he, he kind of knows I think what's going on and he doesn't really feel he feels insecure he feels like he's not a good caretaker for this child he's just um, kind of resistant to this process <laughs> and uh, I I tell him to look at, look at me. He looks at me and his face is, I don't know, it's full of fear. I think it's, it's weird looking. It's got these strange glass flat eyes and this kind of like creepy, I don't know, almost like a gory type of demonic things coming out of his face and, um, the angel just said, don't, <laughs> the angel just said, don't, don't worry too much about that stuff. Okay. <laughs> don't, you don't need to go into and describe all that. Okay. So, um, I just, I tell him, um, you are worthy of love. And I'm actually, I actually feel like I'm being guided to ignore all that stuff. Yeah. Like it's a distraction. So I tell him, you are worthy of love, and I give him a hug. The guy, his energy just sort of like, sh it really just shrinks and it just, it's like, it's like he can't be there for the hug. It's like, 
his spirit almost just like liquefies and just it, he just like shrinks inside of himself and just kind of slips away in this puddle and so i'm like okay So I'm curious, what am I supposed to do here? I feel like I'm actually supposed to, to bring this guy's energy almost like forcefully back into one place and um, I feel like I'm actually supposed to kind of contain him. So I don't know, this is what I feel like I'm supposed to do. So I put him inside this glass container and I kind of put the seatbelt on him and uh, I'm like, well, let's, I'll come back to you in a little bit. Part of myself has this thought of like, am I getting off track here? Because <sighs> something's weird here. Like, I actually feel like I'm supposed to just give this guy a hug again and say like, be a little bit more firm in saying like, you deserve love. You deserve love. And okay, so now I'm 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 facing him towards the child, and I got one hand on each of them, and I say, "You both deserve love." And they're I'm making them almost well. They're looking at each other. I'm not like really forcing them, but I did turn them towards to look at each other, and now they're hugging, and um, now he's saying thank you to me. <laughs> so, so the, the angel's giving me a thumbs up okay so he's saying that sometimes people need a little bit of help um okay so now i'm going to this uh this older elderly woman she's got gray hair and she's more accepting and she's i'm telling her you deserve love. She's already hugging me. She's, she already, it's easier. And I'm going, I'm going, I see myself going down the aisle and putting my arm on different people and um, connecting to each one. Some I'm hugging, I'm sort of seeing this being played out a little bit, like um, I'm hugging some, I spend time with some, I, some, some people it's more of like I'm just putting my arm on their shoulder and looking at them and that's, that's enough. Um, and so I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of accelerating this a little bit through here, so I'm kind of like watching it play out in third person and uh, um, I I feel called to remove the plane scene and um, I kind of create like a happy surroundings for these people um, There's, um, I just see green hills and kind of like rainbows and there's like picnics and potlucks and the children are running around playing.
things are things are just transitioning and it's ha it's a happy scene and um people are getting connection to like some of the adults are getting connection to sort of like counselors and people sitting with them and um Things, things feel like they are um, taking their own course here. It doesn't feel like much else needs to be done here. Um, the momentum of this place is, is already carrying people in, in where they need to go. They're, they're like in the happy joy, you know, they're, it's like the, um, they're set. They're basically set they they um they're in a happy place they've got what they need and things are just going to momentumly flow towards the next thing they need so it feels like there's there's um everything's fine there so that scene that scene kind of just floats away. It's it, I see like this orb that contains that whole picture and it just kind of floats away. And I'm more just standing with this angel. And um, the angel is saying, I, I've done a good job. Um, it's got his arms around me. He's saying things like, you can do this, you can go. You know how to do this. You're actually very good at it. And you have what it takes to help people. And um, I'm just, I, I, I'm taking a moment in myself because I feel just the, the weight and to my own personal, like, I'm just telling this angel, like, it's just, this has been hard for me. This has been hard. And I'm in this energy pattern of like the pressures on me it's been so hard and I'm feel a little bit broken and defeated the angels kind of saying like you know how to get out of this you know it's like you you know how to get out of this and we are being a little bit not helpful of you because we believe in you. Sort of having this moment of like saying, I guess I'm like saying, there's no one to hug me. There's no who's gonna hug me. Somehow I'm going back to this, um, the image of the, the galaxy. And the angel's saying that you've got a, you've got 
basically a lot of <laughs> a lot of help in the spirit world realm. You've got a galaxy of help inside of you, you know. Um, let us help you. <laughs> like, why are you trying to do it alone? And you can trust us. And I'm just, I guess I'm just taking a moment to reflect that um, this is reflecting that it's not easy to let this in for some reason. <laughs> like it's not easy to let it in. Even though it feels so real, so compelling. But for some reason, it feels like so, so natural for it to be this way for some reason. <laughs> so I'm sort of seeing, um, I'm sort of seeing these, it feels like there's two guides here. It feels like there's this angel, a male angel wearing white. He's kind of saying it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing. You don't need to worry about that. And then there's this bird spirit, which is in some, it's got this, I didn't say this before, but it's definitely got this uh, phoenix bird energy. Um, it's orange, and um, once again, once again, I'm kind of being told don't you don't need to describe all the details. So, <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, they're kind of just like they're kind of just in standby. I feel like I'm in this kind of heavenly place. Um, I'm like in these in this, in this cloud realm heavens it's must be representing just a heavenly dimension and uh, they're sort of standing off to my right just like two guys just kind of looking at me and just saying um that's basically your message is there anything else you need and they're telling me there's like yeah if there's anything else we need we're right here that's part of the message um and they're giving me plenty of time to just decide if I need anything else at the moment. And I actually feel pretty complete here. I, I'm just going to say thank you for, thank you for this powerful message that was unexpected and, um, Thank you for supporting me in this, this psychic journey and uh, message for people. And um, yeah, I had no idea I was going to feel like this. I had no idea that this was going to feel so powerful for me this morning. Um, you know, I want to acknowledge it did feel powerful. So um, thank you. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it feels like you're OK. 
conclusion, but it, it does feel like these guides are saying we're here and um, call you know call upon us and stuff like that. So I'll let it be there for now. Okay. Well, uh, thank you guys for for watching, and um, there will be more of these. <laughs>